Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hemlata Joshi and uh, in this video I will show you how to create a report using R Markdown. So as we are going to work with R, R Studio, so first you need to install R Studio and obviously R. So once the installation is done, you will open R Studio. Here as you, you can see I have already opened. So. So to work with the R Markdown, you need to install two packages for this. So for installation of packages, I'll use the install packages function. Install dot packages R Markdown. So first package name is R Markdown, and the second package is Knit R knit r so now i'm going to run these packages now uh, um, it will take some time so meanwhile let us understand what is r markdown so r markdown is a file format for making an interactive documents in r so interactive means what r markdown allows us to create a neat record of the analysis so in the report you will have our code as well as the output so both the things you are going to have in a report so it is very nice way to create a report so uh, when you'll uh, if, if, if you'll share your report with uh, any other researcher so it will be very easy to understand what we did in the analysis so let us now work with the R markdown as you can see the packages are unpacked now now we are going to uh, load the packages by library function library so both the packages we will load R markdown R markdown and then run this second package is will also load this library Net R, Net R. Now our both the packages have been have loaded. Now we'll to create a markdown file. We'll go to the file and then new files and we will click on the text file. In this here you'll create a report. Let's say I want to work with the two zero data set. I want to do an analysis of the two zero data set, which is then inbuilt data set in R. And uh, let's say I'm going to create a title for this and uh, my name and the date. So for this, I'll use this hyphen sign three times. Below this, I'll write title. Title. Let's say I, I, I want to write the title is analysis of two thorough data set. So in, in the double code I'll write analysis of tooth growth data data set. This is my title and um, author author uh, I'll write my name. Lata Joshi. I also want to write the date, so I'll write date. I'm writing today's date, so the double code, which is 22nd, 25th, 2020. This now I'll close this block by these three dash signs three dash signs now uh, before doing to the analysis let us save this file so I'll click on this icon to save this and um, I'll save this on desktop in the R video content so uh, let's say tooth growth I'm giving its name tooth growth dot rmd rmd is the extension for markdown file so you have to write it file name dot rmd then save so once you'll save we will have one more option here uh, we'll use this later 
and it so now we just do an analysis so let's say in the analysis um, I want to know um, I'm interested to give the, the data description so uh, one more thing uh, if you want to have a quick, quick idea about the R markdown go to the help and then click markdown quick references then here uh, you can see there it, uh, here there is a nice description about each and everything about the R markdown so you can use by looking at this right so it's the here the first thing emphasize if you want to write anything any text in italics then you can write in um, between the star or you can use this minus sign Uh, if you want to write anything in bold then use double asterisk signs and this hyphen clear um, let's say I want to make an heading main heading mm, the, 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 the data description so I'll use one hash sign like here it is given header one one hash so the description data data description so in the data description I want to give uh, the mm, what are, uh, what are the variables in the data what are the first few values in the variables so to write the data um, to, to write the code R code for this we can see here we'll use R code blocks or the R chunks so to write the R chunks we'll use this uh, three back dash signs followed by this curly brace R so like this and this R and then I'm going to close this and under this I will write the R code for the data description so I'm interested in dimension what are number of rows and columns so dimension and the data set name tooth growth that is copies this data set name because we are going to type it many times also I'm interested uh, how many columns are there so this will give you the number of rows and columns now I'm interested uh, first to see the first few values of the variables so for this I'll use head command and the data set name okay. now uh, this is the only thing that I want to describe about the data let us have a look a brief idea about the data set so we'll go to the this R script uh, we'll, I will type question mark data set name so if we'll run this you'll see the in the right hand side this is there is the description is given of the data set so in the description as you can see 60 observations uh, and three variables are there the variable names are length it is of numerical type length of tooth uh, supplements which are given to the pigs as the data is about the given for the pigs and the third column third variable is the dose uh, how much dose was given to the pigs uh, in a day so now here let us uh, come again to the our, our report so uh, next heading I'm going to create and in this heading um, I'm interested in some descriptive statistics so I'll write descriptive statistics so this is my heading for this block now I'll create a R chunk for this R chunk and I'll close this also and then under, under this I'll write in the descriptor as you can see we use the summary command summary of what of the data set so I'll write this it will give you the mean median and uh, minimum maximum value and uh, the quartiles also so apart from this let's say I'm interested in standard deviation of what standard deviation I can find for uh, some particular variable of the data sets so in the in the two through data set I'm interested in length so I'll choose this so it will give the, the standard deviation now let's say I want to interpret this uh, statistics 
so I'm just going uh, out of this R chunk here I'm going to write the um, let's say um, uh, I want to write the average length of the tooth so I'll write the average length of of the tooth is so here I'm going to write the mean value so for mean value I will write the inline command so inline R code R, uh, so for to write the inline R code let us see what we have to type so we'll write one backdash R and then the R code and we'll close it by backdash so here I'll write this and then I'm interested in mean so I'll use mean function for this then length like this and then I'll close it by this backdash sign and uh, the standard deviation is st so I'll also close this in in line r in line r and variance of the, the length so I'll use length function so I'll write this only so it will give the mean value mean length of tooth and the standard deviation of tooth and this way you can write the interpretation in between in the report and now uh, I'm also interested uh, let's say I'm interested in graphical representation so I'll write another uh, heading graphical inter graphical representation graphical representation like this so in the graphical representation I'll create a new R chunk and then I close it under this I'll write the code let's say I, I, I'm interested in the histogram of the length column so I'll use the hist function and uh, the hist sorry uh, length so it will create the histogram of the length column and let's say I'm also interested in the box plot box plot of what as we know that the box plot can be constructed uh, in the two pa two variables one is of qualitative and one is quantitative type so here uh, 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 my first variable of interest is um, supplements I'm interested in supplements and the second variable of interest is length I want the box plot between these two variables so like this you can mm, represent uh, the data graphically so uh, that is all I want to uh, uh, include in my statistical report so now let us run this um, R markdown file so to, to run this we will click on this knit option knit icon so when I will click on this knit you will see a list of formats in which you can create your report so um, the, you can create your report using HTML um, in, the, in the form of HTML or in the form of PDF or in the form of Word so here I will prefer to create a report in the PDF file so I will click on knit to PDF so uh, as you can see the, the process is going on so uh, we have to wait until it gives the PDF file of the report um, yeah it takes time but just because it is running the this bunch of chunks so as you can see we have got uh, the report in the PDF format how nicely it is showing as you can see this was the title we have given to our report this is the author name date and this was our first heading data description and it, uh, the dimension the code as you can see the R code is highlighted so it's very nice way um, to show your report the, it is highlighting the code and then output then again the second code and, and this output just below of this and uh, the second heading was the uh, descriptive statistics here we have generated this statistic by summary function standard deviation and this is how you are interpreting your results here we have written like this so 
we have also done the graphical representation histogram so as you can see this is the histogram and the box plot like this so I'm not going into the uh, much detail of the analysis I'm not going to interpret all these things uh, this was just the uh, introduction of R markdown how can how we can create a report using R markdown one important thing uh, you can also use with this R chunk uh, like this uh, here if in the descriptive statistics if I write comma um, there are so many things you can see a list of things but the most frequently used uh, things are like echo by default the value of echo is true if I make it false then what it will give it will show uh, only the output without R code so if you will write this so you will get only outputs um, let us try another thing here I am going to try another thing that is frequently used that is eval eval and then by default the value of eval is also true but here I'm making it false if you'll keep it false that means you you will have only the R code but not the output so um, it depends on you how you want your report so um, let us see what is happening uh, if we write eval and echo uh, we have to wait for a few moments so we'll we have written uh, in the descriptive study in the R chunk of descriptive status echo and in the graphical representation uh, false so let us see how it's showing mm, like in the descriptive statistics as we have written echo is equal to false so here the code is not shown here only you can see the output and in the graphical representation we have written eval is equal to false so the output is not generated here it will show only the R code so this is how uh, you can use these functions uh, or you can use R markdown now, now it's your choice how you want to create your report uh, whether you want the R code only or uh, only the, the the outputs or both the things you want in your report so this was very this is very nice way to create the report you can do it you can try it and uh, if you liked my video please like and subscribe my channel thank you